Good morning, folks. Brent Canfield, Smart Digital. Everybody has the bubble. What do I mean by that? Everybody has that variable distance of a violation of personal space. You're at the supermarket. Someone walks up behind you, literally brushes up against you to grab the product right next to the one you're grabbing. You seem a little disposition there because it's a little awkward. You know what I'm talking about. You're standing on a city street and someone, instead of walking on the other side, literally walks right up behind you, violating your personal space. So you need to gauge that distance. What is that distance for you? Some people don't know what that distance is. Some people need to be able to gauge that distance and know what is the barrier, what are the limitations to my own personal space. And when you identify that is, when you identify that distance, don't let people violate it. Some people know that my distance is usually three to five feet. Some people a little further, maybe 10. And sometimes you're put in a predicament where you don't have really an option. You jump on the bus and you're headed to your next destination and someone literally walks up behind you or moves in close to you. And you hear all this stuff online all the time. He, he kissed me inappropriately. He was holding my hand. Well, the problem is they let that person violate their personal space. I'm here to tell you, I know many women in my life that if you get too close to them, they're going to put you in check. And they should. Never, never, never let someone violate your personal space. I, for one, I will then step away from that person, separating them and creating more distance between myself and them if they violate my personal space. Now, I don't get rude and I don't punch them. I don't push them away. I just step back because I need to be able to separate myself from that person and move them further away while they're in my personal space. So again, identify what that personal space is for you. Some people are okay with someone standing right up on them. I'm not one of those people. Many people I know are not one of those people. They don't like people walking right up on them because you never know when something may go south. That person grab your hand inappropriately or try to kiss you. Come on, give me a break. I think everybody in the world knows that someone who kissed someone else on the cheek violated their personal space. That's first and foremost. So that person was not able to differentiate the distance between them and that person or that subjugator. So again, uh, another tip and trick for the day is know your personal space, know that distance, and never let someone violate it.